Wednesday means to me the beginning of Lent, taking stock of what we've done to people, how we can make ourselves better. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt. Whenever I'm walking down the street on Ash Wednesday and I see someone else with ashes on their forehead, I am in communion with, with them and they are in communion with me. We are dust that God breathes into life with every breath we take. We live, we breathe with God's breath. And our creativity, our, our passion, our joy, our curiosity, our love are sustained by the breath of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Ash Wednesday for me means that even though I am a sinner, I have a Savior. When we pray, we're loving God. When we give alms, we're loving our neighbor. And when we fast, we're loving ourselves. The message of death to life is primordial in the very heart of nature and in the early tribes of human beings. Remember thou art dust and unto dust thou shalt return, thou shalt return, thou shalt return. I've been giving out ashes for hours, but it, it doesn't get boring, even though I'm saying the same thing over and over again, because each person's different. Each face is different, people's reactions are different. I'm always surprised, I mean, probably three or four women were crying, and I don't know what they're crying about, but, you know, it's just, People, have, people react and it's very meaningful to them. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Our culture wants people to always be young. It's, it's a good reflection for Lent. It grounds people in their mortality because Lent is when you get grounded in what's really important in, in our faith in particular. Mm -hmm.